Hey guys, you you Kirby here with another episode of Spyro 2 Reignited, part of the Spyro Reignited trilogy. In the last episode, we conquered the Metro Speedway, and we also took a trip down to the deserts for Scorch and Sh Shady Oasis. This time, we're gonna explore more of this castle. So, huh? When the money bags has for us now? Like these gems. Then, I oh, would no. love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, the speedway rules. No, you wouldn't. To charge a, a small fee. A hundred. It absolutely is a bargain because we'll act because that's half of what you get in a speedway. Money back in no time. Anyway, yep. Second speedway. For some reason, in this world, they have two speedways. This is also the reason why I didn't really... I went and did Metro Speedway in the last episode. Anyway, let's talk to him Good again. Good luck in the races, Spyro. I'm betting on you to win first place. Don't let me down. There are no races in here, though. You're weird. You're new. Yeah. This is one of the more dangerous whirlwinds, so yeah. Anyway, let's go and click this. Huh. That's really odd. Oh. Would you like me to take you to a world where you can find a new talisman? No thanks, Laura. Come find me if you ever need help locating a world where you haven't yet retrieved the talisman. Yep, this is where the boss is. These portals are also here for near the bosses, too. So, let's... Huh, interesting. That was pretty cool. That was a lot more obvious than the original. It was basically a cracked wall. Like, literally, it was a cracked wall. It wasn't a brick wall. Wall, It was cracked. Collect all of these gems. So, it was that supposed to save our progress? Because it's time to make a super long glide. Alrighty. Remember that island we saw a little bit ago? Where that shimmery is? That is where our, where we need to go. We will be actually be using Alora to get us back to get us over to Fracture Hills after this. And there is the second orb along with 75 gems. But we still don't have all the orb all the gems because of the group that Alright, now we'll talk to Alora and she'll take us to Okay, Alora. Okay. We have the talisman for Gl Crystal Glacier. Fact. See? We have the talisman. I don't know why you sent us to there. That was just really weird. Then I have to climb all the way back up. And here, off we go to Fracture Hills. Which, if you know the, which, if you look in the background, you might recognize as Dark Hollow. Anyway, Earth Shaper. Yep, so this is, so our target in this is, are these Earth Shaper guys. Go talk to this spawn. Well, hello there, Mr. Dragon. Which, uh, you obviously look, they don't really look like Elora. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy Earth Shapers have encased it in stone. Honestly, I'm kind of glad in this version they basically gave the fawn, fawn, um, Scottish accent. Because they did not speak Scottish in, at all in this. Yep, so our goal for here is to basically break free the Satyrs. Because freeing all six of them will unlock the, will unlock where the talisman is. 
One by one. Yep. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some more satyrs trapped in stone. Now, un you might notice that the satyr has no name. That is because they did not intend. Because you can um, release them in any order. Keep an eye out for those because there are live ones, and they will eat you just like the bog, just like the, just like the misty bog monsters. You drop down to here, you'll actually encounter Earth Shapers. Yeah, you don't encounter these guys in the main path. Anyway. Super Flame will kill them. Your normal flame does absolutely nothing to them. And if you charge in them, they get knocked back. Basically, I would charge the ones that do um that are near lava pits but not charge ones that aren't but that, yeah charge the ones that are near lava pits and get do them huh this looks like this looks really weird anyway let's climb up here another fish yeah okay I three okay I didn't mean to say that well, actually, I did. All right. So, in the original version, the 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 bush that comes to life are fish. I don't know why they made them look creepy. Also, we have these trees. These guys are fine for me. Cause like the trees look so boring in the original version. But it's like I don't know why they changed the changed the um. News. Also, if you don't kill the pink water, they'll dance. That's my, actually my favorite interaction. You can also skip these. Basically, we've already seen the first one, so we don't really need to see the others. Ooh. Alright, now we need to kill fit now we need to kill a pig. Let's get some bacon going. Sorry that needed to scratch my nose. Alrighty, so this guy, we're going to charge into him, because, no, actually, no, I think I charged into him the wrong way. Anyway, I just wanted to show these guys, show that you could kill them with, kill the ways you kill them. We're not going to kill all of them, all of the, um, Earth Shapers, most because that was the, that was for the trophy for the stage, and I already got it, and yeah. So there are, there is halfway through our Seediers. Yeah, so basically we'll just be skipping, skipping these. Yep, the more you can kill, the less you'll look. Yeah, it's like, it's really weird that they change, that they change the looks of the, uh, of the bush enemies. The trees are fine. Also, I should probably show the how the trees attack. But, it, but considering you've been seeing the beehives, you can probably guess how. Yes, they just send bees at you. We will actually be, we do need to go down there um, for the gems. It's great to be free. Now there's only one satyr left to rescue. Yeah, I, it's like I honestly, I, I really do like the voice direction for this world. Let's just match this. Oh, oh, yeah. I probably should have hold, held on to that and just had that tree attack me. Oh. Alright, so now we actually can go to this. Down for this, we're going to collect all these gems down here. <laughs> I actually like when that happens with Zero Shapers. Basically, just. They. Oh, that was, a, that was almost a twofer. Okay. The pat. All right. Well, actually, I'll sh I'll show what the power up is, and I'll explain, it. and then I'll come back to this because I don't really want to use the power up for to break that. It's kind of annoying, and it's also kind of tied to a very annoying skill point in this stage. Up here, because I don't talk to her yet. It is supercharge. 
yeah, basically we need to guide ourselves. There, there's a complete track. That's what we've been seeing, seeing what we saw on the ground without mention that. Basically, I'm going to be doing this because this is kind of a pain in the butt to actually hit that. All right, let's glide over here. Okay, this is the bad zone. Let's get, let's get the, let's flame that pig. Where are you? There you are. Sparks? Oh, it was left. All right. Okay, so. As you can see, we have Hunter. Let's go talk to him. He says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, hi, Spyro. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'd appreciate it mightily if you could locate that alchemist. He owes me a favor. Alright, so. As you can see. Hold on. Oh. Hunter has two orbs. We need... Some of you might recognize this area as the worst mission in the game. Yep. We need to come back here after we get head bash. So this is the second area. We will go around and... Because of that, we're going to kill these guys. And kill, get these. But yes, I will not show the worst mission in the entire game until we actually get head bash. It is so awful. Although, super, since we have Super Flame, do it. I don't. Super Flame, we could actually cheese, cheese this, but honestly, I would much rather do it the old fashioned way. We'll do the second Hunter mission, mission the cheese way. Mostly because, mostly because, just because. Flame this tree and free the last Seedier. Now this one I'm not going to skip because it's the final one. Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to explore the temple. Yep, and that's just where we're going to go. After collecting these two gems I missed. Anyway, so to get to the... Oh, three gems. I don't, um, I think, yeah, I think the last gems are in here and in that other locked up thing. Oh, hi, Dragon Boy. You're probably expecting me to say, you're my hero. Thanks for saving poor helpless little me. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. Honest, I one thing I will admit the um is originally they sounded they sounded they they didn't have the accent. This one sound honestly I wouldn't mind if they did this just because of just that sarcastic um, line. Sorry if I sounded unfriendly earlier. I didn't mean to. It's just really weird that weird. But anyway, all right. So now that we've gotten the talisman, it's time to get the first gem, first orb of this zone. About the only orb of the stone. <laughs> oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? Yeah, this does not really warrant. Yeah, this warrants the four. This is actually pretty, really hard. There, we have to follow the track, and it has a lot of turns. And also, the skill point for this has you do three entire laps on this. Because of how just how annoying this is, I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna do any attempts. That will be done off screen. All right, come on, and and there we go. It's not that bad, but it's just, oh, it's kind of annoying. Oh, thank you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please, take it. Okay. And, and, okay, I just want to say this. Does anyone else hear a Wisconsin accent with, when talking to the fawn? Not the, not the men. Not, not the saviors. Just the fawns. Anyway, that is all gems of this stage, so all we have left is just the worst mission and the tour for Hunter. 
but we're gonna do those next. What we will we'll return turn here with head bash. So let us return home and see the fruits of our labor. And the original was only one. I like this. I like the second version because honestly, it's more home. It's more warmly, in the second version version than the first. It's just, I, I just like how their eyes change to green and they just start and two of them start dancing. That's really fun. Alrighty, so now it is time to conquer the final the final zone of autumn plains break these last two two vests oh we're missed how many are we missing oh it's happened again happened again 405 oh no it happened again I didn't what we're else missing five uh oh. Uh oh. Oh well. Oh well. We'll, we'll figure that out in the, later on. But it, yeah, I wouldn't do a lot of traveling anymore. I just did, you know. All right, so magma cone, the final zone. Like said, the sister world. To Fracture Hills, originally called Fracture Cone. As you see, we're dealing with spawn, spawns again. Dark. Dark. Also, in the original, he basically, the one that lived, lived, uh, moved his chair to the side. Anyway, welcome to Fra Magma Cone, or the climbing. The climb Hello, test. Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. Yep, we're dealing with the Earth Shapers again. We yeah, this time we actually have smaller Earth Shapers. Shapers. In the original version, these guys had more of a different hue than than the fracture than their fracture hills counterpart. Honestly, I'm glad they Glad they just they just went did the same models. Anyway, yep, we are now in the in the heat. Heat. And yes, we can actually win him set the stage. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Alrighty, so for the Earth Shapers. Now granted, yes. Oh, Earth Shapers now have hammers instead of pickaxes. Oh, thank you, buddy. Anyway, now normally we could just blast these guys with this, but you see that bond right there? I think I think we should give these guys a little helping hand. Yep, to get rid of the, yep the main way to get rid of the Earth Shapers in this stage, besides Super Flame, is by just having the bonds kill them. So honestly, I like that. That's kind of why I showed um destroying the the um. The Earth Shapers in Fracture Hills not here because of that. Also, honestly, Magma Cone has my favorite soundtrack of this, so I'm gonna be quiet during a lot of this. This sounds so freaking awesome. So then, also these snails are our, our fodder for this world. Shit, I apologize. All right, so let's climb back up. Not, I was trying to jump down, Spyro. Not sure why you did that. I don't know what these guys are. These guys are just like little mossy people. They're not really Earth Shaper. Honestly, I, 
Honestly, it would if these guys were, were Earth Shapers, it would be understandable if we bounced off when we charge into them. Not uh, basically the same as the guards, as the sword guards in uh, Scorch. Anyway. Okay, I didn't know he could hit me there. Payback. I love the ways that they made to have the fawns kill these guys. This one's honestly my favorite, because this one's just super gruesome. Just jackhammers him to death. That is really dark. And that is also the last of the Earth Shapers we'll see. Until, until we go return to Fracture Hills. This has a lot of ladder jumping in this area. Also, there's money bags again. But, there's one life, and there are three more. This isn't a hard stage, so I really, I don't get why they have that three. Anyway, let's talk to money bags. Your only customer. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few. Yeah, that costs that costs double from what opening icy speedway cat is. is. That's really weird. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. I found the elevator business is one of my most profitable, behind bridges, of course. Greedy, greedy Yoshi noise. Up down here. You actually were restricted in this. And also, this was just a platform in the original. And now it's time for it to shut off that volcano. This is our test. Basically, climb up the ladders and jump to the next one. Also, watch out for, for, the, for the lava ball. I don't believe that they will actually kill you if... Well, I don't believe... I believe you'll just take a hit. You won't fall off and land in the lava. And now, it's time for the big one. Wait for this one to go and start climbing. The best way to do is stick to the middle and stop whenever the lava balls go. It's slow, but honestly... It's easy. And just like that, the volcano is capped. Thanks for Literally. A bit on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. And thank you for the act for the volcano. Anyway, I see down there there's another guy. Guy, and there's also these flying balloons, too. But we're not going to handle that yet. Instead, we're going to get back to the volcano. Also, there are. There are rocks here, too. Return to the volcano because we have only. We have a have a twofer to do that we can easily do without any interruptions or needing to backtrack. Glide onto this and, and glide over to here. Before we move down, I actually want to want to change the original soundtrack for this because honestly, I like I like the the um, sound effects you hear in this level. Yeah, it's like, I like this is the one stage I prefer the original soundtrack over the classic over the new one. 
The first one to grab ten of them wins. I'm ready. All right, so let so we need to so this actually is pretty. De this is actually a pretty decently challenged one. Just keep an eye on the ground, and when they come up, yeah. You're in the lead by one now. Up. Oh. You can also swipe them from Hunter right in front of his face, and he will actually have an animation for that. Swipe that. Spyro, the Phantom Thief. I wonder what Spyro's Phantom Thief codename would be if he was in Persona 5. Oh, so you notice that the music got a little faster in this. I, I mean, I honestly like that. All right, one more for victory, and there. Okay, you win. Here's an orb. Oddly, this is one of the stages that does not give him his bow and arrow. It's really weird. I'll give you another orb if you can beat me again. Let's play to 15 this time. What do you say? I'm ready. And now we now this one's a little bit more harder because Hunter will be a little bit faster because he just got his first one almost immediately. Yeah, we have to do it. Ah, dang it. Dang it, Hunter. Dang it, Hunter! This one I honestly feel would be would be better off if it dealt with a um if it had like a zoomed out camera. Sweet. Six type six each. Type seven. Boom. That was a buzz that was a buzzer beater for that one. Yeah, just keep on tap of just keep on tap and and, be, and if you see Hunter about to grab one, which you can reach that's within charging distance, or or if you just stand there, grab it. We have a four popcorn lead, three popcorn, two, yeah, back to still three. Ah, dang it. Alright. Yep. Okay, for some reason I missed those ones. Alright, and boom. You're really good. I'm gonna have to come up with some harder games. For now, I'll take this orb. I guess you earned it. I also do like this little ice cave aesthetic. I never mentioned it, so I was more focused on the game. But I really do like it. It's really cool. And I cool and, and yes, this was just a blue cave in the original. So honestly, I like how they changed the original. Anyway. Let's make our way back to the where the up. Oh, I missed I missed the thing. I missed some things. Good so good thing I I was gonna cut, but hey. Let's collect these. Dang it. I was thinking I was this close far enough. Also gives you more time guys more time to listen to this music. I guess I missed another gem here. Oh, oh. He sparks it. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, sparks pointing at the volcano. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we didn't have any gems left out, um, up here. Alright, so pass money bags once more. Give him a flame for all time's sake. And write this down. Alrighty, let's do this. And I believe this one will automatically take us to where the either where Alright, it's gonna take us to where the where the dwarf is. Alrighty, so you can see, Superfly! Hey, you're just in time for the party! Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. <sighs> it just won't be the same without party hats. This is this does not really warrant five stars. This is at least three. It's so basically you might have noticed the um, rocks. 
That's how you kill them. But honestly, I'm cheesing with, with Sewer Flame because it's actually really annoying to hit them with, with the rocks. It, that actually really is. So honestly, yeah. My bag. Next seat. Next seat. That counts right there. I mean, it's not super hard. It's really, it's just really annoying to hit him with this. With the super flame, you at least have the have the explosion radius too. To hit him with. All right. So that is all these. So we don't really need to fly anymore. So we can just land and. I said I immediately go to fly. One day there are all those and snipe this guy for the last party ad. Thanks, Spyro. You saved the party. Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls. I think I this. On it. I. I think Shetta is voiced by Tom Kenny, by the way. It just sentence sounds like him. Anyway, let's take the Superfly back to the back to the portal and return home. Dark. Dark. Just dark. I'm gonna chat. When, when we land, I'm going. When we land back on the planes, I we're gonna talk. We're gonna check the thing. And see if this was the world that I that's missing an extra five. Oh, it said 400. So honestly, I don't think it is. Jimmy. Yeah, for some reason they do it here, but they didn't do it in in here, in there. Can break the lock on the door. In some force. So this is really weird that they have you go to where you to. Not right now. Because it's time to end the end the episode. Anyway. Yeah, I'm curious as to where the heck that loose fiber from. Anyway, so. So it's time to go fight Gulp. We're going to call this an episode. So, I will see you all next time. I hope you all enjoyed. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.